Now, we started along about 1953 in developing uh, diets which would allow us to wean pigs uh, routinely at one week of age. At the present time, we're routinely weaning all of our pigs at two weeks of age. Uh, what they're seeing now, uh, as the viewers see it on the screen. They are now approaching a model uh, sow farrowing and pig nursery unit. Uh, this uh, building, uh, Jack, was put up in cooperation with industry, by the way, along with Iowa State College. They seem to be uh, delayed there uh, at the present time, but uh, they're just a few more yards to go before they arrive at this particular unit. I see considerable interest on the part of Ambassador Menshikov, who has just disappeared behind a uh, felt hat there, but he was uh, craning his neck to see better, and the, I am sure that their, the visit here is going to be very interesting for our Russian visitors. Now they are progressing to what point? Uh, they're still approaching this uh, sow farrowing and pig nursery unit. Uh, their first stop at this unit will be at the sow farrowing unit, which has 20 sow uh, farrowing stalls in it. Uh, in this unit, he will see sows either that have farrowed or uh, about to farrow. Now you can just see the uh, corner of this building in the left or the right hand side of your screen. I wonder if uh, the chairman will be able to see through that bunch of photographers. <laughs> yeah, well, I see he's up toward the window, and he's going to get a good view of the farrowing uh, establishment here. Yes. We purposely put in a lot of windows in this uh, unit, Jack, because we have a lot of visitors out here, and we prefer that they not go in the building because of disease hazards. Yes. I noticed uh, a no admittance sign on the door there that uh, the, the disease control was the uh, reason for it. Well, he's seeing now for, uh, sows in farrowing stalls. At the present time, uh, uh, the unit is not quite full, but he should get an idea of how we handle our sows uh, here at Iowa State College, as well as uh, the method that a lot of swine producers here in the state of Iowa are now handling them. That is in a farrowing... Mr. Kuchev is here to uh, view our system of raising swine, uh, being uh, both short and, and as far as uh, uh, animal protein is concerned, and it ties in very well with what he saw at the Garst farm this morning. Corn production and hog production go hand in hand. As we can see on the screen, uh, uh, Chairman Khrushchev is uh, quite voluble. It's, he seems to have quite a few questions for Dr. Katrin, and uh, uh, I hope that that will continue as we get on over to this uh, display of nutrition. Well, Jack, a uh, pig at this age, which he is seeing now, uh, is a very lovable creature. It isn't until he gets up around three or four hundred pounds that he becomes a, an obstinate creature. And uh, Mr. Khrushchev has uh, demonstrated in some of his uh, uh, appearances here in the United States uh, with some of the children and and, uh, and in some of his uh, humorous and uh, rather quaint comments that he has some very human uh, uh, qualities, uh, at least uh, uh, when he's uh, not uh, engaged in political arguments. Uh, Mr. Khrushchev seems to be a very human sort of a person, and uh, I am sure that the, the pigs, as, as we saw them in there a few moments ago, would, be, would appeal to him. That's right. There's approximately a hundred uh, baby pigs in the uh, unit which he is now looking at. And his next stop, of course, will be baby pigs again, where he will be actually inside the building and uh, we'll get even a clearer view of them. We had his uh, time schedule, uh, at least I saw it in, uh, in uh, Professor Catron's hand a few minutes ago, and it seems as if he will have time for the entire planned tour. Is that uh, correct? Yeah. It certainly uh, seems uh, like he is taking his time. Uh, we're very happy, of course, that, that he is able to uh, take some time. We were uh, rather scared that he may even just drive through the farm. We had been warned to be prepared for anything. I believe that some of the members of the party have remained in the cars. They seem to be uh, sort of to have driven past us here, and they're poised as if ready for flight, but uh, uh, we hope that... Uh, Mr. Khrushchev will delay the uh, departure until he has seen all that you want him to see here. 
I wonder if uh, Mrs. Kuchoffa hasn't uh, stayed in the car. I have not seen her uh, in the uh, touring group, at least. No, I have not either. I suspect that she has. Yes, she has. She has remained in uh, one of the uh, limousines. There you see uh, Professor Catron uh, gesticulating and uh, uh, explaining something uh, to Mr. Khrushchev, who appears to be very interested. Uh, it must be uh, quite a chore for the interpreter, because I'm sure there's a lot of esoteric language connected with the swine nutrition that uh, will be difficult of translation. That's right. And if this interpreter isn't familiar with uh, swine talk, let's say, he's, he's probably in trouble. <laughs> Speaking of swine talk, we did have a very interesting sound effect from the swine out here in the in the pen. I don't know whether our audio engineer can uh, introduce that uh, sound effect uh, to us right now or not. But uh, yeah, he has it in the uh, in the sound. He tells me. And now they we are approaching the east end of the building back of us, uh, Jack. They will be going inside of this building, and we will lose them for a few minutes uh, as far as TV pickup is concerned. Well, and if that uh, if that be true, well, well, will you wait just a moment, and we'll see if that, uh, if that is true. Uh, then we have an assignment for you, Dr. Spear, to uh, take over on, a, on another microphone at the exhibit showing the various phases of the swine nutrition. Uh, we'll see in a moment. No, the party has come to a standstill again. Maybe we are making a decision as to whether or not to go into the building. We'll have to wait just a moment to find out. We're having to look in two directions here. Our television monitor is uh, in one direction toward the west, and uh, we are looking carefully toward the east. I wonder, Jack, if he didn't look at the mill room and the feed mixing and grinding and pelleting equipment. Uh, I believe the, the other camera probably couldn't pick this up. Uh, but as much time as they spent there, I wouldn't doubt but what he actually went into the mill room. As I believe that's what has happened. Now some of the photographers are appearing uh, in front of the official party, and it seems as if they are going to go directly to the uh, exhibit, which uh, Professor... No, they have turned, and they're going into the building, and uh, Dr. Spear uh, will, while Mr. Khrushchev is out of view of our television cameras, uh, explain to you uh, exactly what uh, uh, Dr. Catron will explain later to uh, Chairman Khrushchev. Here is Dr. Spear. <laughs> 